the regrettable incident that happened today, um, we have the pathology back on it. Can you tell us just succinctly what, what happened? Okay, so the diagnosis uh, is a ruptured aneurysm in the aorta, uh, close to one of the kidneys. And uh, just to put everything in perspective, uh, the aorta is the main blood vessel that carries the oxygenated blood from the heart to the rest of the body. And uh, in horses, uh, it's uh, very common that uh, they have parasites that uh, do migrate in, as part of their life cycle uh, through the, some of those major vessels. When they migrate through, they can cause damage to the lining of the vessels, and uh, one of two things can happen. Uh, if there's a, a thrombus or a blood clot that forms there, it may uh, obstruct some of the small vessels uh, carrying blood to parts of the intestine uh, and that would end up in uh, a colic or abdominal pain uh, because of uh, abnormal function of that part of the gut. The, the damage to the vessel could also result in a rupture of that aneurysm. So basically the damage causes a ballooning or a weakening of the wall of the vessel and that then is a very uh, susceptible spot to rupture. Once it ruptures, uh, there's, it's a catastrophic bleed out and the animals die very quickly. Could this have been anticipated or detected in any way? No, I think we could do, if, if it was possible to do a total body MRI scan, which it isn't, um, I don't think that there's any way that you could predict these at all. These are perfectly healthy horses uh, in, in every way. Uh, I, I guess uh, many people may be familiar with the famous jumping horse Hickstead that uh, you know died after competition and that's the, the typical uh, cause of death in that situation as well. Uh, so it happens in healthy, fit, sound horses. Does running a horse contribute to this? What do we know about that? Well I think exercise of any type um, you know has a, a predisposing factor. Uh, we, we see these happen in stallions following breeding, in ponies following, you know, jumping, in racehorses following racing. So uh, horses are athletic animals and uh, in any of their activities that probably, you know, elevates the, the prevalence of a, a condition like this happening. And how could you prevent these parasites to begin with? Is it preventable? It, it's preventable by good, uh, good management, good uh, feeding management, uh, and good uh, management uh, using antelminthics to uh, control the parasite load. I know that many of these chuck wagon horses uh, are dewormed uh, as often as every six weeks to two months, uh, and uh, so the drivers are fully aware that uh, parasites are a common. Uh, uh, issue that they have to deal with with all horse management. Uh, horses on pasture are much more susceptible to picking up heavy loads of parasites simply because the life cycle of the parasite uh, is completed uh, you know out on pasture. Horses that are fed uh, you know in buckets uh, in confined conditions uh, the risk of spread is not nearly as great. So um, would it be recommended that um, the chuck wagon horses be in stables, being fed out of a bucket all year round? No, I don't think so at all. I mean, horses love to be out on pasture running, and uh, most of these horses, uh, they're, uh, you know, in, in confined conditions for the race season and for the rest of the year, they're turned out to pasture uh, in their natural habitat.